After creating a new description key set, we can edit it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click on my Campus Creek DK DKS and select edit keys. And as soon as I do that, this panorama window opens and on the right side we see a tab that says description key editor. So this window is basically called the description key editor. And we have several columns here and some of them we're really not going to make any changes to and some of them we are going to make some changes to. So I'm just going to go through each column and kind of explain the significance of each one. So this first column is the code column. This column must match the description in our survey file. In this column we can use what are called wildcards and the other thing that we need to know about this column is that it's case sensitive so it's kind of like passwords. So I'm going to open my notepad file again that has all of my survey data in it and I'm just going to kind of scoot this over here towards the left again and move my notepad file over here towards the right and make this a little bit more bigger because what I need to do now is go through all of my description key sets. So one of the first ones I have is called light pull. So I need to make sure that in that code column I put in exactly what that says, light pull. And it is case sensitive, so it's just like passwords. So I'm typing in light pull. Just as it says here. The next one over is called the style we can assign a style or we can leave it as default and we can always change this later and this style refers to the marker component itself so I'm just gonna click here and we can check this in to assign a default one or we can leave it unchecked and right now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna leave it unchecked for now the next column over is the point label style and we can assign a style or we can leave it at the default style and this can be changed later of course just like the marker style and this style refers to the label component the next one over is the format this is where we can decrypt the code now if we put in the value this little dollar sign symbol and an asterisk what's going to occur in here is what this code is so if I leave it as this, this little dollar sign and asterisk what the format is going to be it's going to say light pull but let's just say for example our code ended up being LP and LP could stand for light pull or low point it could mean anything so here this would be an opportunity for us to spell out the words light pull but since light pull is pretty self-explanatory we don't need to so we're going to leave this as a dollar sign and an asterisk. And then over here where it says layer, we can actually assign these points to a layer. So I'm just going to click there. And actually I'm to double click in there. And I'm going to create a new layer. And I want to put this on the layer, I'm going to call it C-PNTS-Survey points and I'm going to click OK and we can give our survey points layer color right now I'm just going to leave it at white I'm just going to click OK so what I've just done is I have assigned these light pole points to the layer C dash points C points and then we have some other settings here we have scale parameter we have fixed scale and we have use drawing scale apply XY apply Z Marker rotate, marker fix, I think it's rotate on the end there, rotation, and several other settings here. And we're not going to do anything with these other settings, we're just going to leave that at default. So now if we want to add another row in here, so I'm going to open this file again, we need to add one that's called pavement cov. So there's several ways that we can do this. We can either right, we can right click on the light pole and we can do a new or we can do a copy. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose copy because most of the settings are pretty much going to stay the same. And right here for our code, I need to type in exactly pavement cove. So I'm going to double click here. I'm going to type in pavement cove. 
pavement cuff and all of these other settings I'm going to leave it default I'm not really sure what pavement cuff stands for so I'm going to leave it at the S dollar sign and I want it to be on this layer so I'm just going to go ahead and click off of it so those changes will take effect and I'm going to right click again and do another copy and the next set of code is my culvert corner and I believe it was all lowercase let me check that looks like it is all lowercase and then we have one point here that doesn't really have a description next to it and it also appears to not have an elevation so it may be that we also don't want our culvert corner since it doesn't have an elevation either so what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete that one so right here where it says culvert corner I'm going to right click and delete I want to get rid of it so that's how you delete a row so I'm going to go ahead and do another copy and this time I want to get all of my MHBM so I think this is a manhole benchmark so I'm just gonna do manhole just MH and if I do MH asterisk it should get all it should get MHBM, MH190, MH192 and MH193 but it's not going to get this MH193 and this MH191 and the reason why is because remember codes are case sensitive so it'll get these here but it will not get this because this lowercase mh and this uppercase mh are different so here I'm going to type in mh and I'm going to use an asterisk which is a wild card which means it'll include anything with the letters mh in it and afterwards it doesn't matter what's there because I have a wild card so pretty much anything with MH in front and it doesn't matter what occurs on the end it's going to include in this description key set so all this other information here maybe here I might actually type in something so maybe I'm gonna guess that this is a man hole benchmark maybe so if you're someone who is going out to do surveying it's probably very important to you know label things pretty good so that when someone else has to look at your file they can understand what's going on so this is kind of a good exercise so now I need to do one for the capital MH remember that's different so I'm going to right click here and do another copy and I'm going to make this big MH with an asterisk and I'm going to leave that manhole benchmark there and I'm going to go back to my file and it looks like I have a lot of STs going on until I get to tree so again I'm going to do another copy here and I'm going to do the exact same thing ST asterisk and I'm not really sure what ST stands for so I'm just going to say maybe street I'm going to do another copy and I had one in there that was called tree it was all uppercase so I need to make sure this is uppercase type in tree here go back to my civil 3d file and it looks like I have an LP and maybe this is supposed to stand for low point so I'm going to go ahead and do another copy here and type in LP and here I'm going to call this low point and just click off and go back to my notepad file I have several STs going on again and the rest of this is just all STs so for now I have several description key sets here I have about seven of them in here and if I wanted to I could probably be more specific with my STs because right now it's going to group all of my STs as one so have ST here, ST here, and if I wanted to, if I wanted all my ST1s to be in one description key set, I could type in ST1 and then an asterisk, meaning that I'll group up all my ST1s, 
and then I could do one for ST2 and I could do one for the regular STs maybe the STGs, ST4s so on and so forth. So I just want to show you that this is how you would create a description key set. Later this is going to be useful to you because this is going to automate the process of organizing your points and you can see we can auto assign them to layers and we can assign point and label styles and we've pretty much converted some of these raw descriptions into full descriptions that make a little bit more sense to us and we saw over here towards the end we can optionally scale things which we don't really need to do here so once I'm done all I have to do is just click this little check box up here and there is my Campus Creek description key sets